Hey YouTube, welcome to day 13 of Inktober. Today I thought I would draw another witch holding orbs. Honestly, I drew this for the outfit. This is something I found on Pinterest. I thought I'd get started on my Inktober piece early today, so we woke up and had some homemade waffles and just started drawing right away. I'm just recording this with my phone and a small tripod, so it's kind of hard to get good angles, but hopefully you guys can see everything that's happening. So right now I am sketching with my Prismacolor Very Thin colored pencil in crimson red. I still get a lot of questions about what, why I use a red pencil, so I use it because it blends well with watercolors and Copic markers. And I just really love the color. It's more of a brownish red instead of a pink. So that's what I always use to sketch with. I thought today I'd add a little bit of color to my Inktober, so I brought along my skin tone watercolor palette that I made in a previous video. So far this is my favorite palette to use. I bring it with me everywhere and it's super useful for drawing people. So here I'm just using, I believe I'm using the Naples Yellow by Van Gogh and a bit of a mixed color that I made myself with a Kurotaki Menso brush, the Kalinsky one. I'm actually really happy with the drawing today. I think I might do a bit more of these colored ones, at least with skin tone and ink. And I'll probably do a few colored darker girls as well. So after I finished this drawing, we went to go get sushi, and I was so happy. I haven't had sushi in a really long time. After moving to Texas, there aren't very many options for Asian food, which is really hard for me coming from San Jose, which is a very culturally diverse area, and there's all these sushi spots and Thai food and Mongolian barbecue and Korean barbecue it's all amazing so I, that's one of the things I miss most about San Jose On this part I thought I would add a bit of see-through fabric, kind of sheer fabric, so I was using the same technique with the Pentel Aquash pen and water. So like last time I said that the, the Pentel brush pens, not the pocket brush pen but the regular ones, are made with a water-based ink so you can actually mix them with water and um, do a wash. So here I'm using the aquash pen to do more of a grayish tone and for the sheer fabric and some of the gradients I would drop a little bit of water on the paper and then just start painting with the pen and it'll get a little bit lighter and it dries in a really interesting effect. 
so you can see some of the fuzziness. It's kind of cool. And then once it's dry, I go over it a little bit with the same pen and make it a little darker to define the edges. So I use the Aquash pen and the regular Pentel brush pen for the grays and blacks in this piece. I didn't bring my bottles of ink with me on this trip because I was afraid they would either get smashed in the plane or they would throw them away because it was too much ink or something, so I didn't even want to risk it. Today I did kind of a weird reverse order than I usually do. I usually start inking by drawing the eye and working my way outward from there, but I actually did that last. I'm not sure why I did that. I think I was just working more with the outfit today before I even started on the face. So here I'm just kind of defining the strands of hair and adding the shadow areas with the darker marker. It's always hard for me to get a good angle when my camera is on a small tripod like this because it makes no sense for me to place it on my right side since I'm left-handed and I don't want my hand to be in the way, but because I'm left-handed I draw with my paper completely sideways so if I put it on my right side the drawing's upside down for you guys and I get a lot of people complaining about the camera angles but I don't really have a overhead camera tripod right now so we're just gonna have to deal with it I guess <laughs> So tomorrow we're going to be leaving town for the next two days to go to my cousin's wedding. We're going to be driving up north and uh, we're going to visit, we might visit Lake Tahoe on the way up. So I'm pretty excited about that. It might be pretty hard for me to record a, an Inktober video. So I might just do a quick one that's really simple without a voiceover or something. So just a heads up, you guys. For this part I'm adding a bit more of her tattoos. I thought I'd use the Pentel Aquash brush to give it a little bit of a lighter color instead of just using black. I thought it might be a little bit harsh. And now I'm going to be painting the orbs. 
instead of drawing a ball, I dipped a brush in just clear water and I drew a circle. And then I'd use the Pentel Aquash pen to kind of do a little wash in the circle around the blank white area to kind of give it almost a glowing effect even though it's black. <laughs> and then I added a few extra spots and I went in afterwards with my Uniball Signo gel pen in white to do more of the orb bright spots. While it's drying, I am using a Polychromos Faber-Castell color pencils to add some of the blush and make it a little bit stronger on her cheeks and her fingers. And I'm adding in some smaller details with a Micron pen. Sometimes I just dab the areas that I'm waiting to dry because I'm a little impatient. <laughs> and I'm adding some more glowy orbs and some highlights to her cheek as well with my white gel pen. Alright, and here is the finished painting. I hope you guys liked it, and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!